All right. If you're told a baseball diamond is a, a square 60 feet on each side and the pitcher's mound is 43 feet from home plate, how far is the pitcher's mound from first base? Okay, so you know that each side is all 60 feet. You know that this side right here from home plate to first base is 60 feet. You know that this side right here is 43. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that. But we want to know how far the pitcher's mound is to first base. So we don't know what that side is. Now, you've been given two sides and you're not exactly sure how you're supposed to find the other side because you haven't really been given an angle, but keep in mind that this is a square and then if you cut a square in half, each co each one of these corners here is all 90 degrees, and if you cut that in half you're left with 45 degrees. So, you may not know that side just yet, but we know the angle that is across from it, and we know the sides, meaning that we know a side, angle, side, and can therefore use this formula right here. So, a squared will be equal to b squared plus c squared minus b times the value of b times c times cosine of a. And now everything that we possibly need is already given to us now. So, b squared, c squared, so these two numbers squared, minus the two times those values right there, times the value of cosine of 45. And once we find out what that answer is, we'll just take the square root of that, and that'll be the answer for our question. So, now that you've figured out what to do, this is honestly just remembering this formula and how to apply it is the hardest part of this question. It's all really easy from here. So 60 squared, 43 squared, minus 2 times 60 times 43 times cosine of 45. 60 squared, 43 squared, this is 1849, and if you multiply 2 times 60, and then multiply it again by 43, you're left with 5160 times cosine of 45. Add those two numbers together, you're left with 49, excuse me, 5449. And you can't quite see it, there you go, minus the value of this right here. Make sure you realize that you need to multiply that 51. 160 by cosine of 45 before you subtract it, so don't do this first, or remember order of operations. Some people get that messed up, including myself, the first time I tried a problem like this. So once you multiply that right there, you find the value. It ends up being roughly about 34, um, excuse me, 3468.67. You subtract those two values, and you're left with roughly 1800.33. And remember that that's only the value of a squared, so you need to take the square root of both sides. You'll be left with roughly 42.43 feet. So, in summary, the pitcher's mound is about 42.43 feet from first base, and we got there by using this formula.